All right, so for our kettlebell sumo deadlift, you're gonna start with the kettlebell on the floor and then you're gonna step right over it. So it should be pretty much right underneath you to where if I drew a line from the middle of my foot across here, that's where that kettlebell should be. You don't wanna be in behind it like this because that's gonna throw off your form. So you wanna be right over it like this. Get in that same sumo uh, deadlift stance that you're, you're, you're used to. This is what's comfortable for me. Toes are gonna be flared out slightly about 45 degrees, but whatever's comfortable, everyone's got different hip anatomy. So just make sure you play around with your stance. So from here, we're gonna get a slight bend in the knees. Hips are gonna go back. We're gonna shoot our arms forward to make sure we maintain that neutral spine. Knees are gonna flare out as well. We don't want the knees to cave in. Knees have to flare out. So if I drew a line straight down from my knees, I'm right over my toes, not inside of my toes. Super, super important. So here, reach. Then I'm gonna come right down, grab that kettlebell. Elbows are pointed out. I'm going to rotate them backwards here because that's going to create tension in my lats. So I'm here, rotate, and then stand up. I'm going to lower down the same way. Butt's going to go back. Knees are going to go out. Come back up again. Notice my uh, elbows are still pointed backwards. I'm not, I didn't come back forward. Maintain that lat tension. Push the ground away. Lower back down. So that's going to be the, the kettlebell sumo deadlift.